Hey everyone. In this video, we will learn how to propagate filters between two unrelated tables in Power BI. So let's start. We'll use the treat as function. Uh, I've got a quick data model here, which is fact internet sales table and fact product inventory, and which is a highly denormalized structure. So let's just quickly go here. And let's say I've got in the fact uh, product inventory table, I'll just create a table and I'll pick out the color and then I'll pick out the units balance. And you can see that it is, uh, let me just maximize it. And you can see that the color, the units balance is getting filtered by the color. Now the fact internet sales table is not related to this uh, product inventory table. So if I were to go and get the sales amount and put it into this visual, You can see that the sales amount is not getting filtered. So what's happening is that we start by filtering. So we start with the colors and because the unit balance exists in the same product inventory table, it gets filtered, but the filter doesn't pass on to the sales amount in the internet sales table. So what, how do we propagate these filters that the sales amount also gets filtered? So the one way to do it is I've already built this measure. So um, let me just go and I'll explain it to you and how it operates. So I've created this measure called propagated sales amount. So what we are saying here is that sum, find the sum of the fact internet sales amount and switch the filter. So whenever the filter is fact product inventory color, switch it to fact internet sales color and filter the data out. So if I were to pick this and put it here, you can see that it's now slicing and dicing correctly. But so now let's, so this, the code that you can see, we are just doing it on color. So let's say in place of color, if you were to go into the fact product inventory table and we will just take the color out. And in place of the color, if we go ahead and get the English product category name and place it here, you can see all of a sudden that this Sales amount was any case not filtering out correctly, but the propagated sales amount doesn't look co correct either. Because you can see it's 20, uh, 24 million and 28 million. So if you add it up, it's just not going to sum out correctly. So what's going on here? So it's not filtering correctly because we've told it that switch filters for color, but not for a category name. So that's the problem. So you could probably just quickly copy this and then just add a comma and then add another treat us. But this one is for the English product category name. And then we'll just the same, do the same here. And you'll see the numbers change. And I'll hit enter. And you can see now that the numbers look a lot more manageable and correct. And you could download the data and they would be right. So essentially the filters are not working correctly because we had not created a, fil a treat as function for product category name. So this can, you can see that this can become cumbersome quite fast. So if you want to uh, filter by maybe 10 different columns or 10 different slices, you have to uh, add them here. So you have to add another treat as for another field, maybe class, and then another for English product name and so on and so forth. So this can get cumbersome, but it is one quick way uh, to propagate filters between two tables in Power BI. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. I will leave this code in uh, the show notes or, so, or the video notes as well so you can copy the code and have a look. Uh, so thanks for watching this video and please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers, bye.